Hey, TJ here from SmokescreenDesign.com. I want to discuss something that's been quite popular today, <clears throat> or not today, but lately, and that's about this baby that was born on a plane near U.S., uh, was flying from Taiwan. Now, the uh, other article, I can't find it, said that it's gone from Bali, and then it said also it said Taiwan to Los Angeles, and uh, people are saying this is a shut closed case that it absolutely proves flat earth but as I started looking into it I don't think it proves flat earth and the problem unfortunately is that well we don't have an accurate map to go off of and I'm going to show that to you um, we don't have anything to really prove what things really look like uh, so this baby was born in the air flying to Los Angeles now it said Bali people assume that was from India but um, all these articles talk about that it took off from Taiwan whatever this international airport is which is the northern part of Taiwan and just to the south of this or just to the north of this airport is the Bali district. So there is a Bali, Bali in Taiwan. I uh, wanted to, to point that out. And I've got a few things here that I wanted to show. Um, CNN, this is what the direction of the flight that they, that they showed what it um, was and why it was near Alaska. Now looking at this uh, everyone has assumed that it's a direct flight and well if it's gone from Taiwan to Los Angeles it should just be cutting across oops, oops that's not good Let's see if I can do any better here should just be cutting across because that's really the straight shot I mean it's easier to do that I mean why in the world would they be doing this and then at some point somewhere doing this it just doesn't make a lot of sense now when we look at the flat earth I mean that does make a lot of sense for that and let me see here I've got I can close the CNN one now so this is the air age equidistant basically flat earth map that's um, that was used to uh, it's a polar projection so this was used to project flight paths. So on the flat earth, Taiwan is a straight shot, should be something like here. So Taiwan is a straight shot all the way across to LA and they would be passing through around near Alaska. Makes perfect sense. Now, you see with Taiwan they could also do a flight path like this since this is another flight path that could be taken now that looks a lot it just looks weird it's it's not um, like that Mercado projection we were looking at oops I got to end this so <coughs> when I looked up a Taiwan flight direct flight to Los Angeles this is what Google Maps shows 15 and a half hours and we see we've got this straight shot all the way across and on a globe that's the way it should be right well that depends see Mercado Mercado projection whatever is a really terrible projection to use as an example and it doesn't really work for the globe earth and it doesn't really work well for a flat earth either and I'm going to show you why so it's extremely deceptive and I didn't need that one open now when I did a measurement I wanted to see the distance in Google Maps going from Taiwan to Los Angeles it creates this arc and it says it's 6800 miles now if you notice this arc 
what, for whatever reason it creates this, it goes up near Alaska. So it seems kind of deceptive on Google Maps part to show their time frame that goes straight across, but then this arc goes up and over like this. So it had me wondering, like, what's the what's the deal with that? And so this is where the problem came in. So I said, well, let me go to Google Earth and let's see what the sphere looks like according to them and how the flight could happen. Well, that's when I came um, up with this issue of on a sphere Earth, well, I did Taiwan, which is here, and we went to LA, which is over here. And if you look on the sphere, going from Taiwan, passing up by Japan, passing by Alaska is really a straight shot to LA and it's 6900 miles which this is a really smart path to go because if they need to make an emergency landing for some reason they could go to Japan I don't know if they have any issues with Russia or not or if there are any airports but um, at least they could if they needed to stop by Alaska or Canada or anywhere in the United States on their way. So that's actually a really smart path, but then if we look back at this air flat earth navigation map, well now we see that kind of how this would work on the sphere is that it actually is a straight shot from Taiwan to go through Alaska to Los Angeles and we go back here this makes it appear like it's arcing is going up and then down but actually it's it's really not now there is the supposed curve that it would be going over so you can see how this projection is very deceptive and you can't really use it to prove very much now let me open up the Google Maps and I will show, just take a look at that. Oh, we're looking at Google Earth and this is the United States obviously and I can see here because I have Los Angeles marked off, just a little yellow marker there. And when I was coming over here to look at Taiwan I notice that well it's not really a straight shot across the water it actually does curve around so I was like well let me try to do a measurement here we've got Taiwan and then let's go to LA well as soon as I did that as you can see um, it says it's about 7,400 miles. It uh, arches around, curves around, and it goes up near Alaska. And as I showed you in the screenshot, which I didn't do a very good job of hitting Taiwan. Whoops. Let's get over here to LA. So it says 60, about 6,600 miles. So we see we've got a straight shot. Let me get this out of the way. We've got a straight shot across Japan, goes up near Alaska, and then goes to LA. So if this is an accurate picture for this sphere Earth, then this absolutely does work. And this is actually a flight path that is used as we saw with the air age flat earth map projection this works perfectly so then I wondered I was like well if I tried to go across from Taiwan to LA let's see let me just make sure I get on there kinda of what that would
see what that would look like as far as kind of mess that up a little bit so this says about 7300 miles let's come up more just to get an idea of distance so this says 6900 miles probably could come up a little further but hope that you can see here that it's not perfect it's not a perfect situation that this would only work on the flat earth and we could probably come up a little higher so it says 6800 and just doing a straight shot so it says it's actual shorter route by going through Japan up near Alaska of 6600 miles and so I just mentioned it in a few places on Facebook that um, I've got a problem with saying that this is definitive that absolutely proves that the earth is flat uh, here actually shows that it works out really well on this sphere earth flying up next to Alaska um, so if anyone sees any issues with this let me know but um, I'm all about making sure that things work and that the facts are right um, and not trying to just come out and saying something is absolute proof when uh, it was pretty simple for me to just to use Google Earth and even use the Google Maps measuring distance and seeing that there was an issue where it curved up. So you see this curves up and goes up near Alaska, which kind of explains why they curved it, but it just didn't paint that uh, pretty of a picture. And using the Mercado projection is not that reliable. I sh really shouldn't use it for any visual reference at all. Uh, so like to see any comments of what people think about this and I will see what you write.